Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Secure bringing another video on information technology. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over lab three of my help desk playlist. Obviously, if you're, new, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So today's not going to be super long. It's going to be nice and short. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our server 2022, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to share my screen because you guys cannot see anything that I'm doing. So I'm going to do that real quick. And we're going to go over Active Directory a little bit, not too much. I'm not going to go crazy with Active Directory, but I just want to show you what it is and how it works and why we use it in a work environment. So just give that a second. It's trying to open. So we're going to do two things. We're going to install Guest Edition on this machine because I want to move some files around back and forth. I don't want to be trying to move a file and it doesn't let me do it, right? The only way to do it is by using Guest Edition on your virtual machine which is I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. It shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to grab my headset over here and just put it over my head. All right. So let that let that thing do this thing. It should open. Remember, we installed Active Directory for Lab 2. If you guys don't have it, you guys did not follow Lab 2 or you guys missed Lab 2, I'll leave the I'll leave the video below in the description. So so let me let me do that for you. I'll leave it below in the description and this is just doing its thing. You just gotta have you gotta have a lot of patience with this thing because it's it's just part of part of IT is waiting. So you gotta have patience. So all right. So we're gonna do keyboard, control delete. So you see it's it says login as Kevtech. Nothing crazy right now. And what we're gonna do is install guest edition. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you see where it says insert guest edition CD. We're gonna do that. So it should be in the C drive or, or a different letter actually. It should be right here. And then we're gonna we're actually gonna install it. So we hit next, next, install. Pretty easy process, not complicated, not hard. So it's installing right now. And it's probably gonna it's probably gonna prompt us to reboot. We'll do that now. Might as well get it done, get it over with. So that's that's part one of today. And then part two will actually be uh, installing, or not installing, but going over Active Directory. I don't want to go over it too in-depth. We're just going to create an account. And I'm going to show you what you could do in Active Directory. And that's it. The video, this today's video is super short. It's uh, I don't want to make these videos too long either. Because then it's like, oh my God, Kev, this is too much. Or, oh my God, I'm lost. It's fairly easy. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you what that does. The guest edition. If you go into share folders. You should be able to map a folder here. So you do add a folder and you, you look for a folder. And if we call it, um, we actually put it in, we can put it in here. So just make a brand new folder and just call it uh, help desk lab. So now that folder is selected. Uh, and we're gonna put, make permanent, auto mount okay, we hit okay. And I'll show you, I'll show you in real time how that works. So let me just log in real quick. So if I if I go and download a file, which I'm over here in my downloads folder, I just want to show you something. I want to like show you everything on my screen. So I have a, I have a bunch of stuff open here. So I'm just trying to look for a picture or something to show you on the screen. So uh, let's, let's copy and paste my Kevtech logo just to show you how that works. So I'm going to do copy. And you see, like, I'm just going to inject that. And you see here, this is the help desk, help desk lab folder I created. So if we go to... Users Kevin. So right now we're in users Kevin, right? So here help desk lab, right? And you see there's nothing there. I'm gonna click over here. It's nothing there, right? So if I do control V, now it's there. So this is this is the JPEG file that I just I just copied and pasted into it. So you could do that. You could put files in here, which is why we we're doing this because later on we're gonna do a lab here. 
So don't worry about that for now. So now we're going to go to Active Directory using computers. We're going to expand that. And we're going to right click. And we're going to make a brand new user. And I'm actually going to use users. I'm actually going to use real life people that I know for this one. Probably someone from my pool team, probably because I play a lot of pool. You guys know I play billiards. I'm a big eight ball, nine ball head. So I'm going to put in here Mark. And we're going to call it Mark. And we're just going to give him the password. And then we're going to just hit next and finish. So if you go to users, Mark should be there. He's right there. And for you guys that are brand new to IT, we will always be instructed to like create new hires, create user accounts. So it gets very granular because you sometimes you have to update their their address, their street, their zip code, where they live. Um, this guy is in the United States. So I'm just going to put the United States. Um, and then you would have to actually go to their profile and you know just put their number in here. Probably put their job department, title, company, who's, who, who they report to, things of that nature, right? And then if you ever want to reset their password, you just right-click and do reset password. Just to reset the password, if you right click on him, you could disable the account. So it puts like it puts it with an arrow pointing down. That means it's disabled. You could right click it and enable it again. So that account is enabled. And if you double click on Mark, you also have the ability to actually unlock his account by here by clicking unlock account. And you have the capability of log on hours. So these are the hours that you you have him, you have him log in from Monday through Friday. If you want to be really messed up about it, you literally could just turn everything off and then they can't log in at all, at all, any time of the day or the night. Or you give him certain sections to log in or certain days to log in that he's able to log in up to a certain amount of time. So, again, that's entirely up to you. That's what that, that's why this button here is available for. And then this is something else right here. And this is his profile, his profile path. You create a folder path for him if you like. Just general stuff. Um, and then like I always tell everyone, you want to check their account, you do net user mark slash domain. Um, if I could spell his name right. There we go. And you could see password asset 830, password expires 1011, password is changeable 831, tells you what groups they're part of, and then that's it. So pretty easy stuff. Nothing complicated, nothing out of the ordinary. So for now, just create that account. And then we're going to create another account. And we're going to call it Kevin, which is me. All right. Just for now. Uh, let me go back. Because I spelled the name wrong. N. And we're going to just make a password for him as well. So we have two accounts we're going to log into later in the labs. So we have Mark and Kevin, right? So that, that's all for today. I'm not going to go crazy with it. So I showed you what well, you could do in Active Directory. Nothing crazy. I'm going to shut this down. I don't want to make this video too long. And I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, and then that's it for me. Just simple stuff. User account creation. Guest edition. That's all I need for you for now. Because then next week we're going to use Windows 11 and set up Windows 11. And actually going to do some stuff on Windows 11 with the, with the joiner domain and stuff like that. All right. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.